money. It's the invisible force that moves our world. Let's understand why using Satoshis, or SATs, for transaction fees in the Bitcoin ecosystem matters. We need to understand how our global monetary system evolved first. In 1971, President Nixon announced what became known as the Nixon Shock. The US unilaterally ended the dollar's convertibility to gold. This created immediate global uncertainty, and the dollar's value dropped sharply against that of other major currencies. The dollar in freefall shook energy markets. In 1973, the US struck a deal with oil-producing nations, especially Saudi Arabia, to price crude exclusively in dollars. Despite no longer being gold-backed, this petrodollar arrangement propped up international demand for the dollar. By 1974, this new system was taking shape. The dollar wasn't backed by gold anymore, but any country that wanted to buy oil, which was everyone, still had to use dollars. Any nation wanting energy independence now also needed dollar independence. These became intrinsically linked. The cultural impact was profound. The dollar became synonymous with global trade and power. Now, compare this to Bitcoin. Paying transaction fees in sats creates a similar demand for Bitcoin. Just like oil required dollars to transact, Bitcoin requires sats on platforms like Mezzo. The power of Bitcoin, like the US dollar, comes from network effects. The more people use it, the more valuable it becomes. When Layer 2s create their own gas tokens, they split Bitcoin's network effect. Instead of strengthening Bitcoin's position, each new token creates a separate pool of liquidity and users. It's like if every highway required a different currency for toll payments. It's inefficient and unnecessarily complex. Bitcoin native gas isn't a feature, it's a revolution. And Mezzo Network is leading the charge. Ready to join? Learn more at mezzo.org.